Well, good morning, Top Knox Fishing Crew. We're gonna have a fun video here today where we do two different types of catfishing, two different levels of it. Big chilling from the pig sled and then from the bank with the campfire and catching some flatheads and then going hardcore fishing with one of my buddies who's an accomplished tournament angler, Mr. Debo himself, and the 400 horsepower outboard, which is absolutely nuts on a catfish boat. But uh, both videos caught some great big fish, good vibes, good times, just like we like on Top Knox Fishing. No drama, no complaining like a little baby, and we're gonna have some fun. Stay tuned. Back in the boat down yonder to the river. Well, we going flathead fishing again in a creek, real shallow. And we're gonna try to catch a toad. We got a fresh skipjack, a beautiful day. Not care in the world, and hopefully some big fish. Stay tuned. Ginger's gone catfishing. We got the boy Nick, the lucky charm here, and we're gonna try to catch something huge. Monsters. <laughs> We have found our creek for the evening. Next drop from the trolling motor, and we're just gonna sneak back in here on the trolling motor. Hoping we don't spook anything. Sneaky snake. snake. Water temp is 60 degrees, and there are timber piles all over the place underneath us. As you can tell, there's a blue herring over there. He looking for the baits. And we're just gonna sneak back in here, but that's that's what you're looking for. In these creeks, warm water, lay downs and bait, muddy water. This time of the year, once you hit 55, 60, they're gonna be back in here. Look at that right there. Crappie tree right there. We have snuck back in the creek and we've positioned ourselves between some lay downs and uh, there's a lot of bait out there. Nick's just gonna pull the boat up on the bank and we're gonna get to fishing. This is why you have a piece of shit boat like the pig sled. You can do this stuff and it don't matter. This is great. Yep. And we got firewood. I'm ready to catch some fish. Yeah. We'll kind of just put a big spread going all down this bank. Okay. Pretty much all the way down to that next lay down. You may have to use one of the rod holders to pound in the other rod holders. Yep. But I got a good feeling. This water temp was actually 63 degrees back in here. Keep the next one down. Yeah. We're gonna put a, a big spread out. Brought 10 rods, put a few back on the boat, and the rest down the bank. I think we're gonna get us a big catfish in here. Really? It just went straight in? Nice. Well, we ain't gonna have to do any banging, you guys. Just went straight down in. Casting here is going to be not the most ideal, but we'll make it happen. One right there is probably going to be good. Ah, oh, yeah, and just got that all over me because I'm a doofus. Okay. Get one right here. Push them all down in. Oh, yeah. It's going to be perfect. I'll do it. Yes, another one. Dang, it does go straight down in. Bam. Get in there. Okay. Is that all of them? Okay. Now we'll just use the boat. Use the boat. 
Yeah, probably fine. Well, I just sprayed this boat out and I can already tell I'll have to do it again by the end of the night. Let's, uh, here's the chairs. Oh, yeah. It won't take. Huh? Here? I don't know. Probably right there. Actually, no, probably don't. I was going to say right here. It's just not an overhanging branch. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just make a little one. Just a little one. Learned my lesson not doing this once before on a river. We won't be doing that again, folks. That's what we got for bait. Oh yeah. Fresh good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We're running low on sinkers, y'all. Running low. So we're having to get a little jangy with it. Clipping a couple little ones on. You know the vibes. Whatever works, works. And I think we're gonna have an activity period before dark here that's the idea it's better getting it on camera when it's daylight seem people seem to like it way more so hopefully the fish will cooperate we got 50 fresh skipjack here and uh, some white bass white bass we're probably gonna eat though It's a nice double bait side right there. I found this at the boat launch in the water. Somebody really? had like dumped their cooler out and it was just in the water. I don't think they did it on purpose, but nobody was there and I looked around for forever. It looked like the skipjack had been there a while. So I acquired the, the knife. It's a nice Dexter bait knife. So this one's definitely way better though. Yeah. This, the bread knife. The bread knife seems to work much better. But you never know. Cut some big baits, some little baits. Mostly good size baits though. Because the fish should be munching this primo weather we've got slightly overcast a little bit of wind not much warming water temperatures like everything you don't want a hellcat too much it depends on which one some of the hellcats are heavies are they yeah it's fine oh, yeah put clip some of those two two ounces on it or something like that and you're leaving this one rigged up with this on it yeah why not? I'm just gonna kind of fan cast out here. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's it's no feet of water back there. No. It's like six out there, maybe something like that. We're going to put four in the boat and then six of them going down the bank. You may take the one off mine, the later one off mine. You just leave it on yours, it's fine. Okay. We'll figure it out. Throw a couple doubles on. A couple of what we call the double gonad sinker on here. Oh, yeah. Just those. Yeah. Just bloop. Put them on there. There's no current back in here, so. It's just like, get it out there is the main goal. Heck, you could probably just do it weightless in here too, honestly. The more I think about it. You wanna try one without weight? That's these little ones on it. Yeah, one on it. Do one with that weight. This is the one I caught my PB flathead on two nights ago. On the light action or the medium Hellcat. Ain't that funny? I swear they're lucky. That's the same one you caught in 80, 
80 something pound blue on too, I think. Yeah, or some, one of them. Some of them just have the juju. Yeah. Give me a double rig. Double rig? Yeah. Big bait. Probably the funky. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we're, I'm so low on weights, we're running tens back in a creek. Don't question it. I don't think they'll care. They should just freaking slam it. We could get blues or flatheads back in here, you guys. Possible striper. Not as likely as a blue or a flathead, though. Really like some big flatheads, but... You never know what we're going to catch from the bus too thing. Yeah, correct. Something wacky. Hopefully we just have a crazy night. We can go get some dinner. Yep. There you go. We're going to leave the clickers on, y'all. But... Well, like, uh, the reel's locked down, but what was that back there? Is that a deer? I don't know. There's a movement, like, yeah. 25 yards away. It was a big foot. He's doing his, uh, visible smoking thing now. Yep. So uh, it's what they used to say. Shout out, Jeff. Big foot cloaking device. Put a tent on this one, huh? Yeah, I want to. Probably be fine. I'm gonna fall because at some point with these boots in this mud. Yeah, you have to clean them off sporadically. Walking into the house in my underwear so I don't crack up. <laughs> Yeah, we'll definitely wash our stuff off before we get back in the truck because this Katie helped me clean my truck for like two hours the other day. And she would be very happy if... You can tell her, hey, hey, you want to do that again? <laughs> I don't think I will. She's going to go fish a tournament with me, so I'm going to be on my best behavior. <laughs> going to take this big double way down yonder here. Just so we got to run by the tree. Possibly fall. It'd be a really good comedic release. But the reason why we're spreading everything out is because we're covering way back shallow in the back here out to a little bit deeper. You know, it's not very deep. I mean, it's two, three feet out here. Yeah, it's probably four, but not very deep. But it just kind of gives us the whole gambit of what's going on. Just gonna cover all of it. Put that clicker on. That's drag. Double baits and the chunkies. The first chunk was the hottest bait the other night. That first chunk behind the head. It's one of my favorites. Caught a lot of big fish on it for whatever reason. Not so many on the butthole, the, the tail piece, but just the sec first chunk after the head bait. We got just a dummy thick bait too. Dummy thick. Thick with three C's. That boy thick. All right. Dude, I bet this spinner gets hit first with them. If those fish are moving off the channel. So? Yeah. Spinner do be lucky. got one more bait you guys i'm not gonna film that but you kind of got the gist of how you can come do this and this is the best time of the year in my opinion to catch a big giant flathead or blue shallow 
before the spawn starts and during the spawn. Don't be back in here. Overcast, dingy-ish water, warming water, dusk. It's a ticket. Welcome to Camp Catfish. Camp Flathead. I think I'm gonna make, name this video Camp Flathead. Gotta watch out for that <laughs> stump in the water right there. We're bringing a fish in. That's a really good kennel and it should go right up. Yeah. Right there! Spinning rod, spinning rod, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. Here's my phone. Oh, got it. He slammed that too. He's going to the left, good. Oh, this is a big fish. Oh, he's in a tree. Oh, gosh. Get out of there. Get out of that tree. Actually, I don't know how big he is. He didn't really show me much yet, but he slammed it. First one coming off the creek, but I guess they're coming back in here. Glady! He slammed it. He slammed the crap out of it. I mean, destroyed it. Got him by that bottom jaw there. Gosh, that was wacky. Heck yeah. Here we go, baby. Yes, sir. Flathead on the bank with the campfire. Alrighty, baby. First fish of the evening. 16 pounds on the spinner. I think we'll get a big one. I think we'll get a big one. I don't know if it'll be a 58 pounder. Hope it is. I hope it's bigger than that. But we out here, we got the fire going. We're gonna release this flathead. Go that way. See you, buddy. Top notch fishing, baby. Good vibes only. I swear the spinner's always lucky. Oh, that real soon. Really? Yeah, it's a little janky, isn't it? I was afraid he's gonna get us in that tree. I mean, he creamed it when he hit it. You really don't have to throw it out very far here because they're just roaming back in here feeding. I got half of mine to put it on the bank, but I don't want it to get in this tree right here. He about got us, but we're on, baby. hooked up spinners hooked up he may have put it down but it, it went down yeah, let me see you got it yep spinner baby how's it feel feels good this spinner fish just took us in something he's moving no you're just bringing him through it Or you're bringing it to us. That was a big head shake. I think that's a good fish. Yeah, it is. feels like a good fish. He's trying to come out of it. You got the shakes? Yeah. You're definitely in a tree. 
Oh my goodness. I think he just came out of it. All right, come left, come left. Real quick, real quick. He came out of it. He's going left. He's right here. Keep coming left. Come around this rod. Ooh. Great fish, bro. Another good flathead. Another good flathead. Yeah. Daggum. Should we bring another rod down here? Heck yeah. That's a good flathead. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Sweet. He's probably close to 20. Alright. There you go. Look at that fat thing. Look how dark his belly is. Got a belly on him. Sick. Here, take this back. Take your fish back, sir. Got him. Got him. Yep. It do be a flathead kind of night. Look at that fish. Beautiful. Dark spots on Beautiful. Him. Roll him over. Show us his belly. That's, that's not water, guys. That's just his coloration. Sick. Very cool. All right, let's put him back. Spinner's the lucky pole tonight. You know, just just send him off. Yeah, he'll go. Other way. There you go. Beautiful. Heck yeah. It is once again my turn. Now look at it, you guys. Holy crap, it's beautiful. Well, good morning. We are going to do some catfish fishing and what I anticipate will be an absolute catfish beat down in the shallow water dragging some flats and catching a ton of numbers of catfish. I'm predicting, well, hold me to it or hold me to it, whatever you want to do, 400 pounds today. I already posted on Facebook too. Every time I do that, usually doesn't end well if I brag, but I'm just feeling in my bones. We got pig fishing weather. We got fresh skip jack. Uh, the catfish are shallow. Most of the time we're going to be fishing in 10 feet or less, dragging baits, and I'm fishing with my buddy uh, from Ohio. He was down south shark fishing, and uh, the weather was horrible down there, so he's on his way home up through Tennessee, and I was like, let's go catfishing, buddy. So we we getting in the, the most expensive catfish rig there is with a 400 horsepower outboard, and uh, we're going to go slime her up. And he's won quite a few big tournaments. You guys will probably recognize him, but he's been retired lately. And uh, to get our mooring started, uh, we forgot the strap on the boat, and we had to pull all the way out and fix that. But we're ready to go catch some fish now. I told him uh, he's professional. He's fishing with a professional Guggen, so stuff like that happens. Caught one sucker in the cast net the other day, and we're gonna throw him out. Put a little flavor in the water. Some people swear by some of the buffalo carp. Yeah. I, I haven't experienced enough of it to have confidence, but. That would have been perfect live bait for flatheads. That size. But he went in the cooler, didn't have a live well with me. See ya, bud. Do you want a new swivel thing on Gotta bust out the zebra cake. That's how we haven't caught anything yet. What size, uh, mm -hmm. big, small, and different? Oh, the big one's fine. Just easier to manhandle when you need to. Mm -hmm. So what, what are you doing now? We're gonna troll some crappie rigs because we're we're gonna be getting shallow. It's deep right now, but yeah, we're in we're in five feet right now. Yeah, it's gonna get a lot shallower. So <laughs> and the crappie are spawning, so he's gonna troll a, a crappie rod 
while we're catching. Which is actually a bumping rod with 65 pound test on it for crappie. See what happens. You got your two pounder on your gut pocket rig. <laughs> Hopefully he comes off. Get out of uh -oh. here. Nah, he's on there. I'll roll him in for you. Don't worry. You keep keep rigging our crappie rig on. You gonna put him in the witness relocation? Program. Yep, in my cooler because I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> yeah. Nope. You want me to check the bait? Sure. That thing's been picked to pieces. Surprisingly, it's okay. You just leave it like that and throw it back out? Uh, just fix, fix that, that hook. hook. Yeah, that, just that. This one? Yeah. Ah. The old gut pocket rig. I gotta start cutting more of those. I never do that. That's one of your favorites, isn't it? Just depends. Oh look, it's on the bottom already. <laughs> That's how shallow we are. Got our our crappie rig. <laughs> That's so funny. Yes. Like you said, you just throw it out and set the plane in order. Yeah, I mean this is how shallow we are. <laughs> Do we have one? Do we have one? I want to ask to the right. Oh. Came off. Little one, yeah. I was trying to keep him out of your lungs. <laughs> Come on. I didn't get you to that? No, I don't think so. I'm putting out three boards, y'all, until I tangle everything up, and then I won't do it anymore. That's the rules. And I made them. One bite, everybody knows the rules. Going to Planer Boards. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Hooked up with our fourth dink of the morning. Floppering. Oh, he might be 20. I don't know. I just saw the tail on him a little bit. We're even now. We're 2 2. Fish. Fish. what he hit? What kind of piece? That might have been that long ass. Yeah, that fillet. The long fillet. Find out if he's still on there. I may have to use the planet board. Planet fitness here. Oh, hold on. Ricky at work here. All right. You're in Pound Town. What we got? There we go. Oh, no. He's a. Uh, he's 10. Blue. Day. We are. Where are the big boys at? What we got weight wise? I gotta mark the other fish down to eight, nine? Eight and a half. Eight and a half. Alrighty. See ya. We going back with the sucker chunk. Biggest one of the mornings on the sucker. That's not saying much because it's 16 pounds, but it's saying something. So we're gonna take it back out there. All right. What are you talking about? Oh, look, it's on the bottom. I'm talking about crappie for bait and stuff, so. Whoa, he came off. No, not really. That was perfect. I mean, that was what you wanted to see. It was yeah. Kicked, and then he dumped it. He tried to. Came off. Dang it, weird. I wonder if one of those shit fish rolled the hook corner back around. I'll leave it back in there. Swimming out. You got you one? Yeah. More haps or did he pull off? Oh, looks like a little, that looks like a turtle bite. It may have been a turtle. Turtle? Turtle just swimming away with it. 
Here we go. Oh. Another short bite? Dude, how did that flip off? That's what we were looking for. Maybe. Unless he stopped. Another short bite? What the heck? That was on that big chunk, too. That was a legit bite there. That yeah. Was, what the heck? Yeah, at least. Creek now. Yep, we're at the creek now. That's a third short bike we've had. Okay. I guess the bigger ones are just kind of... Yeah. I mean, that's just, that that's hook's that crazy sharp. Like, yeah. he just had it from the back end. Look. Yeah. All right. Take four. Take four. We'll get one more short bite. I'm going to stingers on everything. Double kisser. Show baby. Ooh, that's a good one. 20, 20, 30. It was a good boil for sure. At the mouth of this creek coming in. This one? Okay. Oh, we gotta move the crappie rod. Move the crappie rod. Oh man, he's... He is, jeez. Here, I'll get that off for you. Yeah, I saw his tail slap, big boil. Yeah, look at the bubbles. Not bad. You're good. <laughs> Knocked my knife in. 20 something. Oh, it might be a 30. Digging, he's digging. Oh, there, there we go. Good fish, good fish. Got him. 30s. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Creek mouth. Creek mouth, creek mouth. In the creek mouth. Very nice, sir. Very nice. Where are you guessing? I'm betting uh, 29. <laughs> He's got a good head on him. Oh, almost in the nuts. Oh, you're right. Wait, what is he? 20, 26 on the nuts. You're right. Hold him up there. Let's see him. Sideways. There we go. There we go. All right, that's better. See you later, buddy. And uh, no feet of water. Okay, all right. Next, next. Batter up. There we go. Oh. That's a good fish. He jumped out of the water. I can't keep up with him. You're right. You're gonna run out of line. <laughs> nah. You bite. No way. Do, do I need to stop the boat? I think he's in something. He's in something. I don't know. I think it's a big fish. No, nah, he's in something. He's, that's not him. That's not him pulling. He's in something. That's dead weight. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I see it stopped. He's 
in something. I'm gonna wait to see if I can get him to swim out. I can feel him. Okay, that's him. Still, he's still there. No, he's still in some. Dang it. That was a crazy hit, wasn't it? Okay, I'm just gonna feed him a lot of line, guys. He's wrapped me around something out there. I don't know what it is. It's gotta be a stump. Maybe our time to go get them and change spots. What do you think? I'm just gonna leave it on bait quicker. So we got we got that thing on bait quicker. You guys, we're gonna reel all our stuff up. Hopefully, we can get them out. That was one of the more violent bites. Yeah. No, it's a cat. I saw the cat tail. I don't know if he's on there anymore. That was a sick hit though. I hope he's still on there. All right, we are going after him now, you guys. Hopefully we can get him out of whatever he's in. Well, Jeff, I'll, I'll pull that trot. I just don't want to know what the heck is in down there. Yeah. Bumping. Wait now. He was, he did just wrench it a second ago. Dang it. And uh, two feet of water, <laughs> three and a half. Look at this bird. Oh, wait. this bird just was flying a snake around. I don't know if we're, where's he at. I can't really get him on camera. He's on that dead tree. I think he's just, yeah, he's yeah. covered now. Yeah, he's right there. <laughs> yeah, look, there it is. Crazy. Decent fish, decent fish. Well, I guess we'll stay in here and keep going. Decent? He smack a lack it for sure. He definitely, you were right, he just smacked it and then came at us. Get our net, team net. Team net. Come on up here, buddy. We're trying to redeem our, I'm trying to redeem myself after losing the big guy in the stomp. 
That was on me. I must have tied a crappy knot. That's the first time I've ever had 100 pound test pull or break ever. Get up here, bud. Some decent boils. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is quite a bit larger than what I expected. <laughs> 45. What the heck? <laughs> oh dang, yeah. He might be a 40. Oh, he's a 40. He's a 45. <laughs> I guess there are fish in here, my man. We'll keep uh, putting along in a creek we never fished before. <laughs> this looks good. Why not? Literally never have put a line in this creek ever. Sick. Ain't a little chunk, just like that. Yep. Took it down to Pound Town. Pound Town. Pound Town. Just a little slight redemption fish. A little slight. A little slight. <laughs> Open the old mouth, Seca. Perfect. Let's see. Let's see. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Let's see what she weighs. I don't know. Oh, right in the balls! Ow! It's 45. Right on the nuts. Literally. What? Gosh. All right, we're live. Got her, baby. Hold up five pounds on the money. Slight redemption. Slight redemption. You gonna let her go? Let her grow. Whoa. She gone. <laughs> I had the duck out of the way. Next. There's some drag. We on, baby. You want to stay shower deep? Let's just stay around the edge. This has got to be another decent one. He gave me some drag. Oh, there he goes. There he went, baby. Come on, come on, girl. Come to daddy. What we got? Five feet of water, wasn't it? It's shallow. He's gotta be another good one. Oh, buddy. Oh, it just came off. I got it. Come on back, buddy. Guess I gotta get my net. Yep. You're back in action. Thumped it. I think he thumped it with more attitude than what he actually is. Nice little fish. He's fat. 22 -er. Little tubster. Yep. We're gonna mess around and hook a real big daddy. Oh, that might go 30. What do you think? Oh, 26. That thing's just rotund. Yeah, he's a chunker. Let's see if you can flip that. What's the survey say? 26 and a half, 27. Around the money. Hold him up there, let me see him. Home sideways. Yeah. Well, he's gone. All right. Goodbye. Gotta got get the sideways angle for the viewership. <laughs> I have a fish. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a dink. It's a little dinky. 
but it's a fish. I have a little more confidence in the spot now. You get, you I do. You get two bites, you know, you're like... Okay. You need me for this? No, I got it. He's about a 12-pounder. I got to mark down our 45 on there. Whatever this is. He may be a 5-pounder. Crappy? If we... I may keep a... If this is like a... A 10, I may keep him. My buddy... Buddy's grandpa wants a few. Oh, battery pack fell in my pocket. Guess I'll roll back in there. Come on up here, Mr. Kitty. That's two. It's a little channel. It is. He's food. You're getting kept. Got him in a noggin. Oh, that's a perfect eater. Nice. I present to you guys dinner. Where the box at? Oh yeah. Skippy box and the channel cat box now. See ya. Goodbye. Get to flopping. We're back to dragging. Crappie fishing with the bumping rod in the Shimano Calcutta. And straight in the tree. Ripperoni, I'll tie you another rig up. I got one back. I got two back. Yeah, both of them? Okay, living right. Bend some hooks out. That'll happen when you're using 65 pound test for a crappie. It's tricky to cast. I mean, that's a dang good cast for a rod that big. Going back with the extra ch big chunky. See you later, my friend. Down to the depths. That's already on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. You got a fish, got a fish, got a fish. Do you have a fish? Yeah, I think it's in the water. I'm trying to get that and I'll get the necklace breaker. You sure? Yeah. Is he still on there? Yeah. Yep. That may be another one of them eaters. I think my spinner just found the snagglefish you just found. It did. Oh, it's tired. They do first blood. How does this thing work? I just throw it back in there. No. Okay. Not my spinner rig. Ooh, I just pulled it through whatever it was in. Oh yeah, eater. We got that five pound channel cat. Three pound. I think it was just snag. Old snaggle puss. Let's try this again. He's food. Just need to take him up again. Yeah, put him in the box. He's a catfish fish fry. Another one's still alive in there. That fish would build different. Uh, tribute to the body count. Call him four pounds. Yeah. Market. Mark it. Four pounds. Oh. Oh. 
We reached our spot. Going backwards, going backwards. Back on the grid. Come on, Spinner, you gotta catch one today. Let's go, Tonto. Oink oink. He's on, what is going, he's on the surface back there. What is this dude doing? That was crazy. I think I'm around it. Let it sink back. Yeah, send it back. Guys, this thing hit and then went on top of the water like a daggum striper. Looked like it was blowing up on the top water. Very hungry, very hungry. What do we have? Lock that back down. I don't know how big he is. Ooh. Oh, it's a chip. I did not think he was going to be that small. Team Chanel. Chanel. That's another eater. Another eater, another eater. What do you think? Six? Five? Four or five. Where's the, where's the grippy at? Getting the official measurement. The official measurement. We're going to run into this bass guy. Special measurement coming in. He is seven. Seven pound channel. Seven pounds, seven pounds. Very nice, very nice. Well, we've moved back into another creek. It's stupid shallow and muddy, and there's some gizzard chad, and uh, it'd be shallow. That says right there. Four feet. Four feet. There are big catfish. Let's see what she weighs. See what she weighs. She's an 18 pounder. An 18. Oh, oh, hey, hey, you just wanna... <laughs> No slapping. No slapping, no slapping. 18, 18. See ya. What wanna be ya? Goodbye. Probably... Hooked up, hooked up. Got him, riser trying to leave. Did he oh. come off? I think he's just going right hard. I think he's going there. I think so. I don't know where he's going. Please don't come off. That was a good one. Is that that head? Oh. Did he come off? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. That was a good one. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> short bite, short bite. It was time to go home. Oh. 